Jeffrey, are you hogging all the toys? Are you hogging all the babies? Are you hogging all of your babies? All of them, every single one. What a beautiful baby you have. Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today I have a very exciting video. I got a box sent to me from Sugar Pill, and it was gifted to me, PR, so I am so freaking excited. I didn't even know this was coming out. Um, I had, I think maybe I saw a sneak peek of it on Trend Mood, but I didn't, at the time I didn't see like the whole thing. It was kind of like just a... I don't know, a sneak peek. So, um, I got it in this box right here. And when I opened it up, I was so surprised. I will show you the palette in a second. But, uh, Sugar Pill always sends these little cute stickers that I, whenever you order stuff or apparently when you get a gift from them. And, uh, I am going to put this on my train case. That's what I usually do with them. I have some makeup train cases, so set the box down. So they sent me this capsule collection palette. So this is the capsule collection. Um, it has uh, eyeshadows, pressed pigments, and it also has a blush, I believe. Yes, it has one blush, five mattes, and four metallics. So we are going to play with this today. And I know that I feel like a lot of times we say we as consumers say that all brands come out with like the same thing over and over and over again but then when a brand comes out with something different like a different eyeshadow placement then we're like oh it's hard to store or i don't like the way the eyeshadows are laid out or something like that but i personally um like that kind of thing like i loved the kristen leanne uh kaleidoscope palette from urban decay i know that some people didn't like the layout of the shadows but um this is what the palette looks like so it looks like a pill like a sugar pill um and then the inside oh and the back of the eyeshadows are here and then the palette does have a mirror so the mirror takes up half of the inside of the palette and then the other half is just see-through and then these are the shadows the molecules of the pill so that is so freaking cute um i don't normally do swatches but i will swatch them for you today even though i'm wearing long sleeves but we'll see how we can do this so i'll probably just go bum 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 um and so the first shade we're going to start with is slow dive then we're going to do cloud nine and then dream state so slow dive cloud nine dream state and I'm just gonna do three like I'm just doing uh, three I'm just doing like a little quick little swirl the reason I don't generally do swatches is because I don't think and I well first of all I'm terrible at it but secondly I don't think the way that an eyeshadow swatches is the way that it's gonna go on the eyes so um I will swatch the blush why not so the blush is just a typical pink blush so this one is like a pink duochrome with like a gold shift kind of okay and then that blue stained my finger we're gonna go in with undone the blush is called melody we're gonna go in with undone baby doll and ember ember is a gorgeous shade oh my gosh okay so baby or undone baby doll i'm just gonna put ember up here and then ember see how bad i am at swatching <laughs> even when i try and i don't think that most sugar pill eyeshadows because i do own almost everything sugar pill has ever come out with um now i'm gonna go in with supernova radiate and glory I feel like Sugar Pill eyeshadows notoriously don't swatch well, but they definitely go pigmented on the eyes. So I'm going to do this one. Yeah, that's a terrible swatch. 
That's a pretty good swatch. And that is my favorite shade in the palette. Look at that. It's like a duochrome pinky purple shift. So we're going to create an eye look today. I'm going to use my Anastasia eyeshadow base and then I'll do my face off camera and then I'll come back and we'll finish up the eyes. So I'm so excited. Like I said, I'm a huge sugar pill fan. Um, the, I think the only palette that I didn't buy from them, the only thing that I didn't buy from them is when they came out with the palette with, um, Trixie Mattel, it was like the Oh Honey palette or something like that. And the only reason I didn't purchase that was because it was very neutral. Although I kick myself in the pants all the time for not buying it because, now I all of a sudden like neutral looks as well as colorful looks. And so now I'm like, yeah, I would actually use that. <laughs> so I wish that I had gone ahead and gotten it. And also the completionist in me, since I have everything else that Sugar Pill has ever come out with, like I own all of their pigments, their eyeshadows, their palettes, their lip colors. So I just, I wish, I guess there's some lip colors of theirs that I don't own, but for the most part. Um, I wish that I would have gotten it, but okay. Oh no. So before I swatch, that's another reason why I don't swatch is because then it makes me change my mind about what I want to do. But, um, before I swatched, I had a plan and now I'm like, uh, oh no. Okay. But I th I'm just going to stick to the original plan. So I'm going to take the shade baby doll, which I would, you know, most eyeshadows I do, most eyeshadow palettes. I like it when it says the eyeshadow like where the eyeshadow is but what's nice is that when you're looking at the back of the palette you can see the shade names so i'm gonna oh i'm gonna go in with baby doll which is that periwinkle kind of shade um the matte shades are the smaller pans the shimmers are the larger ones that would be my biggest uh not complaint well kind of complaint I personally would have done it the other way around, even though I love shimmers more than mattes, but I feel like most people, not everyone, but for the most part, I feel like we use more matte. When you do an eye look, I feel like you, you end up using more shadow from the matte pans than the shimmers. I could be wrong, but for the most part, I usually use shimmers on the lid and in the inner corner, sometimes on the brow bone, but for the most part, I use more matte than I do shimmer. So this is very pigmented and this is way more pigmented on my eyes so far than it was in the swatch, which is again, why I don't really believe in swatches, but I never do them. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do something different. So now I'm going to take that duochrome shade and I'm going to put that on my brow bone. I'm also probably going to put that in the inner corner. So on the brow bone, it doesn't look very duochrome, but that's probably because the shade that I'm kind of blending it into is very light. I think if I was to put it over top of the blue or, you know, a darker shade, maybe the purple, I think that it would make more of a difference. Um, but it's nice because it's getting rid of the eyeshadow primer that is on my brow bone and it's blending out the kind of periwinkle gray shade. It's almost like a, it is, it's like a gray purple. It's very pretty though. I like it. At first when I saw this color story, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Okay, now I'm going to go into, so that was... The duochrome shade was called Supernova, and now we're going to go into Undone, this one, and then I'm also going to use the blue, which is called Slow Dive. I like mixing, um, anytime I have like a magenta purple shade, I like mixing it with blue because it creates a really pretty like indigo shade a lot of times. So I'm just going to place that with this same brush. This is just an old Makeup Geek brush that I own. And then I'm probably going to switch to a fluffier brush, but maybe not. I like using smaller brushes a lot of times. 
So let me know if you've heard of this palette. This palette apparently will retail for $42. It is not yet released. Um, it says coming soon on Trend Mood. I tried to look at it before I came on here to film. I think $42 is a bit pricey for this. Um, I would have probably priced it more along the lines of like $35, but uh, I think you're paying a lot for the packaging. What's so sad is that Sugar Pill recently had to reformulate some of their shades or kind of almost get rid of them. Um, and they're going to be bringing them back, but as like other shades, they're not going to name them the same thing because I'm just cleaning off this brush and then I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more because apparently I found out I was reading something that Sugar Pill actually released, but, um, like Poison Plum is my favorite shade from them. It's the best purple I've ever used. And, uh, it, the person who, or the company that was, they were getting their mica from or their pigment from, um, stopped making it. And same thing with some of the other shades like Acid Berry and stuff like that. So that's why they came out with some new shadows that were similar shades, but so far they haven't come out with a replacement for Poison Plum that I can see. But, um, yeah, really sad because Poison Plum is like an iconic shade from Sugar Pill, but given that half the pan sizes are really small and that one of them is a blush, I definitely wouldn't have priced it at $42, but I think, like I said, you're paying for a lot for the packaging and maybe the name, like the brand name, but that's just my opinion, so, and I will always be honest whether I get it sent to me or I buy it myself. So now I'm just putting some of that blue on the very outer portion. These do have a lot of kick up, but most of the sugar pill eyeshadows do. Most of them are like pressed pigments, so they're just going to have more fallout. But that's okay because I do my eyeshadow first for that reason. Because I tend to use a lot of pigmented shades, as you guys know. And... As we say here, I create fallout, so. <laughs> okay, so I wanna leave some of that purple, and I'm actually gonna go back into the purple and place a little bit more. And if you're new here, I like harsh edges and sharper edges sometimes, so I may not do as much blending as a lot of people do, but if you wanna recreate the look and you do want it to have more blend then just blend some more okay although I think this is turning out more blended than what I normally do and that's okay too sometimes I like a more blended look it just turns out to be whatever it turns out to be I need makeup wipes. I'll be right. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Haha. I put them in the drawer in front of me. For once, something is where I thought it was or where I wanted it to be. So I'm just removing some of the fallout just so I can kind of see where the look is going. And. All right. <clears throat> so now we're going to take some glitter glue. And this tube is almost done. I'm going to have to look in the abyss. If you were watching that video, you would have seen that I took, a, I had my glitter glue in my hand and I accidentally like dropped it underneath the vanity here into a box that I had packed. And I have yet to find where that glitter glue went. So I don't, you don't have to use glitter glue, but I use glitter glue with all the shimmers that I use. And when I do a first impression, I generally don't do um, an actual cut crease. I usually do a faux cut crease with some glitter glue, kind of. So I'm going to go into Cloud Nine, which I think is going to be my favorite shade in the palette. Yeah, that is so pigmented and beautiful. This brush is shedding. Okay. 
This is just a Morphe M166. Oh yeah, that is stunning. That is so incredibly beautiful. So like I said, these eyeshadows are really pretty. I just don't, I would not have priced the palette at $42, but who am I? Who am I? And I'm just fading that into the purple. That is so pretty. I definitely could get this look with other eyeshadows that I own. Um, that's the other thing I don't think, I mean, I think the, pe the shades are beautiful. They're definitely sugar pill quality. I'm not saying anything negative about the palette. Like in terms of quality, it's, it's the same quality that I'm used to from sugar pill. Um, but I've seen the shades before, you know what I mean? Which is fine. They're pretty. I don't think I've seen this shade Cloud Nine from Sugar Pill. The closest thing that they have to it is called Candy Crush. It was originally in their um, Sparkle Baby palette, and but it's lighter. So, okay, let me go off camera, do my face, and I will be right back to finish up the eyes. Okay, I almost messed up because I forgot that there's a blush in the palette, so I almost put that on by myself, but I did use my... Uh, DTLA, I think. Yeah, DT, whoo, DTLA uh, ColourPop Gel Liner. And so now we're going to go in with the blush. And it is called, again, Melody. And I like a pigmented blush. Oh, and that is what this is. And usually, color, uh, not ColourPop, oh my goodness. Usually, Sugar Pill doesn't make blushes. The only blush that I'm aware of that they've made previously is the um the blush in the oh honey palette with uh in collaboration with um trixie mattel my words are failing me today okay so i'm just gonna put this in here and i'm gonna do the lower lash line so i think for the lower lash line uh hmm, i think i'm gonna go in with the blue first and then I think I might put that beautiful, like, I don't know, it's like almost chartreuse, but kind of golden shade. It's weird. I think it depends on what you put it next to, what it'll look like. So I'm going to give you my thoughts while we're finishing this up. So I can tell you right now, I would have purchased this palette myself if I hadn't gotten it sent to me. Um, but that is because I'm a huge sugar pill fan and I'm a completionist when it comes to certain brands and sugar pill is one of them. Do I think you need this palette? No. Do I think it's overpriced? Yes. Um, the fun size palette, which is still available, well, is, I think it was like $28 and that has more shades and... Um, I think that color story makes more sense too, even though I was able to get a completed look with this palette, I think personally that, um, it's going to be hard to come up with a lot of different looks with this palette, if that makes sense, because it's such an interesting color story. And I think that, you know, the mattes and the shimmers don't necessarily coordinate that well uh so i think it's a companion palette it's a great companion palette if you own other sugar pill you know eyeshadows or if you just want to use this with whatever other palettes you own then i think that you know that would be great however i think 42 dollars is a lot for a companion palette so i don't know i can't you know, I'm never going to say you need this or you need that or whatever. But now I'm going to go into Supernova, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to put that just right in the inner corner. Um, so, yeah, th those are my thoughts. I think it's a beautiful palette. I love the packaging. The shadows are definitely sugar pill quality. So if that's something you're worried about or wondering, it is definitely the same quality as 
any other sugar pill eyeshadow that I've used. So, you know, that's good news. But for a companion palette at $42, I don't know. That's just a lot, in my opinion. But, again, because I'm a sugar pill collector, I probably would have paid that and bought it. But that's because that's me but um and i give them a plus plus for the packaging i think the packaging is freaking adorable i think it would be cute if they made more of them but at the same time more of them at 42 dollars. i don't know because if you think about it so that palette is 42 dollars, and this palette this palette here, and this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shadows and one blush. This has 25 eyeshadows and it was $18 more. I don't know. I just have a hard time with $42 for this palette. Um, for my highlighter, I'm actually going to go into an older highlighter palette, but this is actually a new one to me because my original Moonchild Glow Kit that I bought from Anastasia was from, I bought it from Amazon back in the day when it came out, and I think I got a fake. I'm not sure. I will know once I use this one if the one I bought on Amazon years ago was a fake, but I always saw people using this and how amazing it looked on them. And it didn't look like that on me, like my older one didn't. I'll have to do a comparison one day. I'm going to go into Pink Heart, this one right here. And I don't know, I just, yep, okay. That tells me right there. Mine was a fake. Because I would see people try it on and it would just be so glowy and like shifty and beautiful. And they would put the pink on top of their blush and like this pink heart shade. And it was just so pretty. And mine just never looked like that. And so I'm, then when I got the Aurora Glow Kit, and I loved that one, and I was like, hmm, why do I love this formula so much? And they're supposed to be the same formula, but I don't love the Moonchild Glow Kit. So now I know why. Pretty sure that was a fake. 99.999% sure. Okay, for my lips, I'm going to go in with the shade Jeffrey What The... Right, yeah, from the Shane and Jeffrey collab. I just feel like I want a bright pink lip. Oh, it smells so good. And so, yeah, those are my thoughts on the palette. I think they did a great job with the packaging. The shadows are the same quality as Sugar Pill, but I would struggle to get more than a few looks out of the palette without diving into another one. And for $42, I don't know if that's okay. So, just set my face a little bit more. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this little cutie. So I do think it's really cute. I love, love, love the packaging. This is what it looks like after using it. So thank you to Sugar Pill. I'm very thankful that I have it in my collection. And like I said, I would have purchased it, but that's because me. Like that's a personal choice just because I am a huge Sugar Pill fan. But I don't know, $42. You guys make up your mind whether it's right for your collection. Um, if I find out when it's going to be released, I will update it in the description box down below. Like I said, the fun size palette is absolutely adorable. Only $28. Um, and I love it. So I love all their palettes. I love all their eyeshadows. So I definitely recommend them as a brand. So I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I do love the look that I came up with. I just also know that I have other things I could use to get this look, but Anyhow, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.